Hi, I'm Ben Tish, and this is the Great British Chef's Signature Series. The style of cooking is produce and seasonality led, big flavours, no messing around. Treating vegetables with the same kind of respect and level of technique, definitely. The, the growers are pride themselves on the flavour that they produce. You wouldn't want to mask it, you know? Cooking so diverse now in, in London and, and the UK. And I think that is connected to more relaxed cooking styles, you know. I mean, you can go and cook a high level of any cuisine you want in London. This dish is um, grilled beef marinated in grape must with Delithia pumpkin, chilli and chimida wrapper. It's a delicious cut. It's a little bit chewy, um, but uh, all the more flavoursome for it. So it's, it's one, of, one of my favourite cuts. The beef is marinated in grape must. Uh, and grape must is essentially cooked and reduced grape juice, which is a byproduct of the winemaking process. Okay, so first thing uh, we need to do is marinate the beef. So beef out at room temperature some sea salt on it on both sides. So the beef comes from a butcher called Walter Rose. Fantastic butcher. They're always kind of up for sourcing new things and they've kind of grown with us really. So sea salt on the beef and then some extra virgin olive oil. Pop that over. Just rub that in. Both sides. Okay, and then the grape must. This is a great quality grape must. You should be able to get grape must from Italian delis and um, uh, yeah, any, any good delis really. It's also known as Saba, that's another name for it. What I like about it is when you grill meat, kind of the molasses in it, if you like, kind of, you know, chars and burns slightly, and you get an incredible smokiness. That's that. So what we'll do is stick that in the fridge for a couple of hours just to, just to let it do its thing. And then we're kind of ready to cook. So our beef's been marinated for a couple of hours and we've got a nice hot grill pan here. I mean, this could be great cooked over kind of a medium barbecue as well to get real kind of smokiness to it, but indoors this will do, certainly. Oh no, we want to get a good char on this beef. You see straight away it's kind of nicely caramelising. With these griddle pans, you just get a kind of a nice, uh, you know, you kind of want that nice kind of bar mark on it and the air can get through the griddle. So it kind of, that's where you get the flame and the smoke. So just flip that over. So that can tick away there. And I think while that's working away, we can get our pumpkin on. We're using this Delithia pumpkin. It's one of the nicest, nicest Italian pumpkins I've tried. It's very sweet and quite dense. So we're just gonna get a nice wedge of this. Couple of wedges, cut it through. Say so we're going to keep the skin on. I uh, don't need to. Don't need to peel these. It's just a waste. Yeah, we're not going to use the seeds, but you know you could certainly roast these seeds and use them as, toast, you know, roasted toasted pumpkin seeds. So, you know, bear in mind you're going to cook them in the pan, so you don't want them too thick. There we go, something like that, and then. We're going to cook the pumpkin. So, again, hot pan, plenty of olive oil, and some seasoning on that as we go. Okay. I think what it's about is kind of concentrating the flavours and, and, and the sweetness. You know, vegetables are full of natural sweetness, and cooking like this kind of really concentrates that, makes it more flavourful. But also, simply, you know, you don't want to kind of overcomplicate or over flavour beautiful vegetables like this. And then we can get our chilli. Just gonna chop this through and deseed the chilli. Just take all that out, it should probably be a bit too hot. And then all we're doing is just slicing these through. So we don't wanna add those just yet. If we add them too early, they can burn. So we just wanna make sure these are pretty much cooked through. You can see we start to get a lovely, a lovely kind of golden brown happening on these uh, segments. I'm going to add my chilli into there now, move it slightly off the heat. This is looking really good and getting nice and tender. I think just a little bit of this sprinkled over and put it right off the heat just to tick away and let that chilli infuse into the oil. So chimmy de rapa is a seasonal Italian vegetable. They're, they're essentially turnip tops. We don't really eat them in, in the UK. Obviously there are turnips grown in the UK and turnip tops, but we don't really eat them. But in Italy, they're a seasonal delicacy and they're absolutely, they're absolutely delicious. Just 
cut the, all you need to do is just cut the stalks off, to separate it out, but that's kind of it really. And then again, a hot pan, a bit of oil in the pan, and an anchovy. So I think you know, anchovy is great with this, these kind of types of green vegetables like broccoli and uh, sprouting broccoli and, and you know, kales and things like that. It just really works. So we want to get that in the pan straight away just to dissolve into the oil. More of a seasoning than an actual anchovy. When you've got that, so that's your kind of basically anchovy flavoured olive oil. Get our greens. And depending on the size of your pan, just chuck them in there. Give them a break up. Keep it moving around because what you don't want, you don't want you don't want any kind of caramelisation or colour on these. You just you are just wilting them. That's good. You can see these are kind of starting to wilt down. So yeah, this is this is a great way to cook because you kind of concentrate the flavours. It's a quick cook, seals in the flavour straight away, and you just kind of wilt it down. So keeps all the nutrients in. Just finish with a little bit of lemon. And back to the beef. The shape of this beef is, is a little bit uneven, so what we want to do is cook it on there for a while as well. So rather than just the two sides of the beef, you've probably got four sides or, or whatever. And if it won't stand up, then we can always make do something to, to make it stand up. But that's, that's what you want to do. So the beef is ready. Just give it a little press. I'm just going to be, it's going to be kind of a rare slash medium rare. Pop that into a little resting tray and we'll just sit that there for a few minutes to relax. So we're ready to plate. This has had nice rest for a few minutes. We just want to cut some thick slices off it. Now I'm very happy with how that's come out. I love the contrast of the, the nice crust where the mustard's caramelised and the the nice rare meat, it's perfect. And then we just get some of our greens, and a little bit of pumpkin, layer it up. I don't really have a strategy when I'm painting, to be honest. I try to make it look very natural. I hate, I hate things like microherbs and all that kind of thing. I hate all that. I just like that things to look natural. And then just finish with a little bit of olive oil, and also, I'm going to finish with a little bit more of the grape must. So that is my grilled beef with grape must, delicia pumpkin, sauteed turnip tops and chilli.